We have great minds everywhere in the world. Cross barriers. People who have been in government, people who have been in universities, people who have been activists. This is why we started Common Action Forum. And we thought by getting people together, we may, we may develop great solutions and ideas for the future. Más que la era de la seguridad, vivimos la era de la inseguridad. Um, several nations and democracies are ending all over the world. The rule of law is also uh, threatened. And um, everybody now talks about what lawfare is. Uh, but what is lawfare? This proliferation of bases, as well as air patrols, military exercises, and the like, risks actually creating the threat that they're designed to protect against. They, they risk becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. People without jobs cannot organize for democracy, much less educate themselves about climate disaster and other issues of security in their long-term future. Esta tecnología empieza a convertirse en el caballo de Troya, ese elefante que vive con nosotros dentro de nuestras reuniones, de nuestras casas, y que no sabemos cómo enfrentarlo. I believe we all of us need to have some type of a paradigm shift. Y lo estamos viendo por ese dominio, por ese control de esas fake news, del lofer, de el totalitarismo financiero, del poder de las corporaciones, y no tenemos derecho ninguno de los ciudadanos y ciudadanas a no hacer nada. Anti-war movement against the war in Iraq and the protests against the war in Afghanistan actually helped move public opinion much faster than in any U.S. war in U.S. history. Data could be our friend, but doing so in a productive way requires a level of international collaboration that we have never seen before. But they are very open to everything. They dare to try everything, then figure out what cannot be done, what can be done. We have the tools of AI and statistics to monitor the institutions around us, from the corporate board to the city council. We need to delegitimize war as a policy solution. Entender los datos como un recurso. We have also a small part of this huge puzzle. Tenemos la obligación de defender lo que ya hemos conseguido y confrontar contra esas ideologías. We need to forget about the fear. Fear is the least important thing we need at this moment. If we believed in democracy, and we believed that technology was supposed to serve a majority of human beings, if we invested in it appropriately, what might that same horizon of 60 years look like?